Welcome to the old Loomis channel again. I had read in the budget light forum something about someone asking about uh, a beginner's video on soldering. Um, I don't know that if I'm the one to be doing that because I'm just a homegrown soldering kind of guy. I have no formal soldering training so I can't speak well of that but I'm going to show you what I do and maybe it'll help, maybe it won't. One of the problems was hiring, soldering <coughs> uh, something that was not copper or not as easy to solder such as brass. So one of the most common <coughs> things that we might solder with flashlights and brass would be a P60 pill. This is a, a P60 pill here with a driver and LED. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, remove this uh, LED off of here. Eh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave it in there. It doesn't hurt anything. I've got the driver, I've got the driver out here. It's still attached to the wires. I think I will cut it off of there. I don't want to play around with it, so hang on a second here. Should have done this before. Yeah, well, you know how it goes. Um, Alright, so I got a P60 pill here and I got a driver here. Um, <clears throat> and it, you know, if you get lucky, if you get lucky, you get a you get a, you get a press fit in here. And you're good to go. You can just press it in and you're okay. But you don't always get a perfect press fit and sometimes you still don't get good contact. There is a lip in here uh, where that driver pushes down in but uh, it won't always work that way so you need to know how to solder that out and make a good ground contact. This is the positive contact of a driver with a spring on it. This is the ground contact of the driver and usually you want to ground that to the pill so I'll show you how to do a little soldering on brass. Um, first of all, quickly, the solder that I use is I use 6040 rosin core solder. Uh, this solder has lead in it. Uh, I'm well aware of the problems that lead has in the solder and also how rosin, you know, the smell it makes and the stink it makes too. But I use it because it flows so easily compared to anything else that I've ever used. It it's just flows super easy, so somebody like me doesn't really need to know or look like you're smart, it just makes you look like you're smart. The 6040 rosin core solder, that comes out of Radio Shack. I also have an old tub of flux. This is rosin flux. It's, it's uh, really sticky stuff, yellowish looking, and mine's pretty old stuff, but it still works. Um, then uh, I have a soldering iron, which my soldering iron, I'll move up here and try to sort of take a quick look at that soldering iron. This is one very inexpensive off of Amazon. I think it was about $15 when I purchased it. It's a 40, 40 watt, yeah, 40 watt soldering iron. Um, and it has a, a temperature, quote unquote, a temperature controller, but it's not a digital temperature readout. It's just a variable controller. So it's set here about what it would what it would suggest about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I run right around you know 400 all the time. That's a little hot for solder probably, but that's what I use. Um, it just has a you know a plain soldering tip on there, uh, and you notice it is dirty as heck. It's filthy, dirty tip. I'm not one to be the suit the cleanest when it comes to. Uh, worrying about that too much uh, and when I want to clean that tip I'll just take a rag and most of the time it works really well to get it clean if it does not if it's been heating for a long time it gets some some black gunk all over it like that there is something that I will use every once in a while and that is a tip tinner and cleaner that's from Radio Shack as well and uh, you just take that and just rub in this this pasty stuff here like that and you see it bubble and you see it, uh, it bubbles up on the tip and usually when you clean your tip off after that it's really nice and shiny so that's how to you know that's how I how I do with the tip I don't worry too much about cleaning it I just wipe it every time I'm going to solder with it another way to clean the tip is just to go ahead and use some solder on it and it's probably hot enough by now I imagine here we go yeah and go ahead and use some solder on it um, and then I take my rag and just uh, wipe that solder 
on there and get it a little bit on there to clean it off. Anyways, what usually f dirties it up the worst, I think, is the flux that's in the solder. Um, okay, so I'm going to solder this this um, P60 uh, pill to the driver. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say about cleaning brass is polish it, get any gunk off it. I use steel wool. Okay, that's the first thing to do is to polish that puppy right up and get it nice and clean, get it all cleaned up real good. If you want, and you got some alcohol or anything like that to clean with, I'll take it a little rag here and uh, I'll go ahead and put some alcohol in that rag and wipe that down, get it all cleaned up nice, get it all nice and pretty and shiny. Okay, shiny things, I like shiny things. All right, so then, uh, tell you what, we'll hold on just a minute here. Okay, we're back at it again. I had to pause for a minute. I went ahead and, and, and used the uh, steel wool to also clean the edge of the of the uh, contact and the driver as well too. Now, one thing about uh, you know playing around with these drivers is you know they have soldered components in them, so you don't want to get them too awful doggone hot. Uh, you can cause some problems. So. Um, one thought is to go ahead and, and solder ahead of time on the brass before you solder the driver and th then once you put the driver in go ahead and, and overlap that solder onto the driver and complete the task. That's certainly one way to do it. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, go ahead and just solder right to, while the driver is right in place and try to do it hot enough that it's a uh, uh, heat is a you know is a thing. The hotter it is, the quicker it's gonna uh, it's gonna solder. So, uh, like I said, I got a 40 watt iron and it's turned up to almost total 40 watts. So, uh, I'm gonna try to solder right directly. Now, the second thing after cleaning, after clean, 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 and polish and shine, is to use flux for me. Now, not everybody has to do this, but I have to do it. I have to use plenty of flux. So, even though I have solder. It has flux in it, rosin core flux. I'm going to add some rosin core flux on this brass uh, pill and on the ring on the driver. Okay, quite a bit of flux. You can see I used quite, probably you can see that I used quite a bit of flux. Um, then I'm going to take my soldering iron, which is now dirty again, and uh, I'm going to wipe it off clean. I'm going to put some. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it on this brass ring right here, and I'm going to put some solder on here. And now you see, I got solder onto the driver right away, but I don't have any solder on the, the brass yet. So I'm going to hold until it goes to the brass. Okay, and that's going to take me a few seconds to do. And you can even, I may even put some more solder on the tip here, and hold it to the side of the brass. And I'm going to wait until it flows all together. Okay. All right. Now I've, it only took a few seconds, but I heated it up enough that I was able to flow it all together right there. Okay. Then I can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side uh, and solder it right there. Now that's a bare pill, and that pill is isolated with leather jaws so that whatever is holding it doesn't take heat away, so the heat stays in the pill. So it, it was fairly quick to get this hot enough. For solder to stick, okay, and I just all I do is I wait until I see that solder just solder flowing on its own. That's because the rosin helps to make it flow, okay. And I can spread it out here some more if I wanted to, like that, and let it flow across. So that's how I do it, is visually like that. Now that's that's soldering a, a pretty easy uh, soldering because it's a very thin piece of brass, and just to see if it's if it's sticking like it should, let's go ahead and see how easily this comes apart. I'm going to pick it off of there, and you can see that it's it's held pretty good. It's held by the solder itself, okay. Um, it's not just held by the flux. You can see sometimes where you can quote unquote solder something, but it didn't stick well. It didn't stick well because it's sort of like a fake solder joint. The flux. It gets real hot and then when you put the solder on it and it cools off, it can stick the solder to the metal 
but it's not really stuck to the metal, the solder itself, it's stuck to the flux. That does happen, that's like a cold joint, so I really watch to see the solder just flow where I want it to, and as I move the iron, it flows with it, so I know it's, it's actually being soldered to the metal. Um, and again, like I say, that's a pretty easy one on a P60 pill that's empty and, uh, and isolated. Like I say, it's isolated with these leather jaws on purpose. It'll burn the leather sooner or later, but it, may, it keeps the heat inside the metal. Uh, now, you can get too hot. You can get so hot to the point where the components come off the driver. Yeah, that can happen if you're too hot. You just have to, it's a learning practice, or a, a learning procedure. You're not going to pick it up the first day, you know. Uh, and you see, you're like right now, I'm heating and I got a dirty iron. I see how dark brown it is. It's a dirty iron and it doesn't want to do anything. So I'm going to have to clean that iron again. And again, it's just clean, clean, clean. And then flux. And I'm going to put some flux right on that iron. And then you watch, it'll start flowing again. See, so it'll start, the solder will start flowing again easily. And I can solder it all the way around if I want to. Okay. So that's how the basic idea, and all, all I can tell you is, I can't tell you solder at, at 348 degrees for 10 seconds. It's not going to work for you. You've got to learn. You've got to try soldering and try it and try it and try it until you master it. I can tell you, hold it at 348 degrees for 10 seconds, hold it at 320 degrees for 15 seconds. You see what I'm saying? I mean, there's so many variables. You've got to heat it until the solder flows. That's the way it is, you know, I mean, that's as simple as that. Now, what happens when I have to solder something that's a lot thicker? Well, that's a real problem, and sometimes it's, it's almost insurmountable, but I'll, I'll show you a, an idea about what you can do with that. Hang on here a minute. Okay, here's a, a piece of uh, a solid brass rod. This is eighth-inch brass rod. Uh, we can simulate the sidewall of a thicker uh, uh, brass pill that you might have to solder onto. <clears throat> now, as far as I'm concerned, this is too thick to mess with a soldering iron. I'm sorry, but it's too much metal uh, uh, to try to heat with a soldering iron. You can forget the soldering iron, you got to have another, another way of doing it. Something that produces more heat. Uh, and that, that's when I'm going to go to a small propane uh, butane torch. This is a Ronson butane torch. And I'm going to solder, put solder onto this brass rod, uh, and then I'm going to come back on it and, and try to solder this little uh, uh, ring right here. This is like an outer locator ring for a, a driver. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's just a PCB, uh, gold-plated contact there. Uh, and I'm going to try to solder that back on afterwards, after I've got some solder on this. So I'm saying that I take a bare pill, just like I do with a P60 pill, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I already polished it up with steel wool. Use my steel wool on it to polish it up. Cleaned it off with a little alcohol. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put some flux on that thing. Uh, and cover it with flux real good. You see, I just love to put that flux on there. It doesn't bother me any. You know, just put it on there. It's cheap. Uh, and then I'm going to heat it with a torch until the solder will flow onto it. And so it, it won't take too long with this torch. You can see the flux is bubbling already and see how fast I can put solder on that that way. And you see i got a bead of solder on here now. I've made a bead, a bead of solder and I'm going to let it cool. Okay. Then I can come back with my soldering iron and I can go ahead and, and put a little f uh, flux on my um, little contact ring here, you know and uh, put some flux on that and then go ahead and, and uh, uh, clean that soldering iron off a little bit here with my rag. I don't use anything fancy. I just use a dirty, or, or a cl well, a clean rag, you know. Uh, and then I'm going to put some solder on the soldering iron, if I can find it around here somewhere. It would be helpful if it was organized. Okay, so I got some solder on there, and I've gone ahead and, gone ahead and, and uh, put some solder right on that ring, okay. And then I can take the two of them, well, at least I hope I can anyways, right? I can take the two of them now and solder them together by heating the solder. And there you go, okay? I, I've heated that blob of solder, and I've then touched it to the solder on the ring, and here we are. Now, see, that's, that's where you take a real big, thick piece of, of uh, brass 
or copper or whatever you have and you want to solder the, your driver plate into there then you take the empty pill, solder it by itself without a driver, without an LED so you're not damaging anything from the heat blob some solder up on there okay and then take and put your driver in place and then you're only heating the blob and you're not heating the rest of it hey it works it's flowed together okay no problem and it's an easier way than trying to heat that up while you got a driver in place okay or an LED in place and burn something up that way <clears throat> so that's my my little quickie I never do anything quick but that's my little quickie video on how to uh, do a down and dirty solder with with the 6040 lead uh, rosin core solder um, and I hope it's helpful to someone but the three biggest things are clean the parts you're going to solder clean them clean them clean them use steel wool use sandpaper use whatever you got to make sure all the gunk is off them uh, uh, wipe them down off with alcohol or some other cleaner like that don't use you know, you use a, 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 like an alcohol-based or, or an evaporative-based cleaner, parts cleaner or something that does not leave a residue. Uh, and then uh, if, you're, if you're doing the rosin core stuff, then use the flux. Flux, 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 and then solder with heat and try to do it quickly. Don't, don't take a long time to heat up. Try to use a, a hotter soldering iron, like a 50-watt you know, soldering iron if you can get one, and have it up on a higher temperature. Heat fast so that the, the solder flows and get off it and let the solder cool. Heat fast, let it flow and get off it. Okay, That's, that's what it's all about. The, the longer it takes to heat something, the more chance you've got to damage uh, in, a, in a driver. Okay, If you can solder that, that back plate of that driver, you can solder that outside plate really quickly, you're not going to put as much heat into the center. But if you take a long time to do it, you can do more damage to the center underneath. So heat quick get the solder to flow and get off it and the other thing is very simple practice 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 do it one time and you think you've got it no you don't do it ten times you might start to get an idea do it a hundred times yeah you can start feeling you know what you're doing but it's just like anything else if you want something quick and dirty and eh, most of the time life doesn't work that way and if it does you just got lucky you know you need to practice and that's the way it is there's no easy way out, okay? All right, thanks, everybody, for listening or for shutting it off. And if you only listen for a few seconds, you got tired of it. Thanks anyways.